Hi folks, welcome, thanks for joining us. I'm just about to throw some of these guys that I showed you. Actually I've got some just outside here uh, that are finished. I'll just show you those quickly. These ones here that I spoke about briefly the other day. Um, and I'm going to now throw some of these. They're kind of nice little small bowly dishes. I don't think I would describe them as a plate. Um, so let's make a couple of these and we'll talk about it. So yeah, what I've got here, we've got this is 20, those ones outside there were 20 ounces and I was just wanting them to be a little bit bigger really. So these, this is just an, another ounce, 21 ounces. I'm going to need my little lollipop sticky thing here, which I'm going to use to put those grooves on the side. All right, so got my ruler ready. Yes, uh, what is the time? Can't see, the chimney's in the way. Okay, so as these are gonna have trimmed feet, we don't wanna go too thin there in the bottom, and they're rather nice and, and bowly. So just widening out and This one's got a rather, had a little bit of a wobble there, didn't it? Wobbly pots. Yeah. Got a little bit of a going on, hasn't it, this one? Ah, we're not going to worry about that. You want to worry about those getting the getting the inside form here really nice. Yeah. So yeah, these are going to want to be thrown. At least I think I'm going to want to throw them around about six and a half inches width. Yeah, so they've got, they've got quite a slightly curving in, you see. Yeah. That gives them a rather nice feel, you know, when the, when the sides slightly come in. At least I, do, I think so. Okay. Throwing stick. So we're just sticking the base here, uh, just enough, but you know, as, as these are going to be um, trimmed. So what next? Uh, chamois. Here we are, a little chamois thing here, look. And then take my little my lollipop stick. You could use anything. You can make something like this. You see, just cut some grooves in it uh, with a sharp blade or something. And what I'm going to do is just hold this up against the side here, like this. That's it. 
And now I'm going to do these. These are uh, they're meant to be handles, but they're obviously not very practical handles. What's good about them is that they're made. They're not added on afterwards. They're made. They're they're made in the moment, as it were, on the fly. <laughs> So I'm going to put a finger there, let's just bring the camera down there maybe. You could have a go at doing these yourself. I don't know what you call them, they're sort of yeah, make-believe handles, but they, 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 they just create uh, an impression. Well, you are in creating an impression, but they visually create a... So I put a finger there and then I put two fingers as it were on either side of the finger and just go up and down like that. So I'm going to keep that finger on the inside and then just go up and down like that. You just have to play around a bit with this. Now the, 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 lip, here, the lip here will rise a little bit, you see. I don't know if you can see that, just there, how that lip, it just rises, you see, which is actually rather nice. So according to how your fingernail is here, you'll leave a certain mark here, but you, you just come back when these are a little bit leather hard and go over them again, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to find the opposite point to that, which is there. So I keep my finger there and I just use my fingers on either side and just go like that. I mean it's... Just be careful when you're doing this that if you have a long fingernail it doesn't slice through the side of the, the pot. Okay, we'll come back to them later and uh, when they're a little bit leather hard and let's bring back the camera as I've shown you that bit now all right yeah actually now I'll keep the camera a little bit in I want to show you just squaring off okay squaring off you can do this with any pot okay so just sort of think of the center and then equi equidistant and literally it's just a case of going like that you see center over here and like that. Now that's all you need to do at this stage. You don't really want to mess with it anymore. Okay so now we just cut him off. Now if I was clever I'd be throwing these I'd be throwing these on on bats wouldn't I? But as I'm not so clever uh, I get lazy in the old age. No bat, no problemo. No bat, but we have a burner, <laughs> a torch. Okay, so now we're going to get right underneath it, you see, and just flip it like that, you see? Got him off like that without too much fuss. All right, let's do one more quickly. We don't want to make these clips too long for those people who've only got five minutes to look at a clip. Yeah. I read somebody else, some, somebody said, well, I like the Simon Le Leach clips, but they're so long. I thought, my gosh. <laughs> so long. It's like people have got no time these days, have they? They're just like, if it's more than five minutes, they're like, they've got to be out of there onto the next thing. Kind of sad, isn't it, really? 
Okay. So cone up, center down. So you have something looking like that. These are 21 ounces. Okay, and they're thrown roughly six and a half here. So now feed the clay out like this, you see. Bring it out and then begin to lift it up. I'll be honest with you, I've not made many of these. I've only made a handful. Uh, I made some and I've had them and used them in the kitchen for like quite a while. Um, that's six and a quarter. And I, I, I thought to myself many times, oh, I must make some more of those, I must make some more, but I never have done. And then I thought, I'm going to make some. So. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's six and a half. Now I could, yes, I could set a gauge. But I'm not going to. I'm not making hundreds of the things, I'm just making a few, you know. So I, I don't really need to set a gauge for that. Um, can I get the inside kind of nice? This one actually, I don't know if you can see it here. It's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a swirl there, which I kind of quite like that. It doesn't bother me. All right, just checking the profile. Let's, let's, let us bring the camera down for a sideways profile so that you can see it from the side. Because I'm not really showing that to you at the minute, am I? So it's, it's slightly narrow at the foot, but not too narrow. Uh, wall here coming up and with a, a, su a suggestion of coming in. Okay. Let's just have a look at this one. You see, if you look at it, you'll see that there's a, there's a slight shadow here, isn't there? Which, which, which is, Typical when the form slightly curls over, comes in, you, you get that. So, yeah. All right. Right, let's just... Um, leather. We used the stick, didn't we, yeah. Okay, leather. Do leather your rims. It's important, it strengthens the rims, rims of your pots. If you use a leather, you're slightly compressing. And this little guy, which we made in the last, he just lives in the water pot there. For now, when I finish throwing them, I hoik him out and put him on the side. Okay, so just make sure the teeth here are cleaned. Clean your teeth, yeah. Okay, now finger there, just on the other side, and now use the, that's it. All okay, so now let's do this. So, finger there, and now uh, like that. See that action of going up like that, it, it makes the lip rise a little bit, which I quite like. So, I want to get dead opposite, dead opposite there. That's about there. So you're getting your handles, you see, right there and now. They're not really practical handles, but you don't really need handles for something like this. Okay, center, and then, like that. Center, like that. 
There it is. It's done. Let's quickly w flip the camera off again and just see it as it is at the moment. Okay, so that will actually be a little narrower in the foot. All right. Okay, let's just heat him up and get him off quickly. This, by the way, I think is an excellent addition to your toolkit. One of these guys, okay? And you'll see me using it quite a lot from time to time. It just speeds things up sometimes, you see. And um, did I cut him off? I don't think I did, did I? Okay, take your cut off wire, clean him. All right, just a gentle speed rotation like that and and through. That's it. Bob's your uncle. No. Okay, just get two fingers like that, go right underneath as far as you can, and then just lift. See, the twisted wire will give you a, a spiral, which, okay, you can say, well, it looks pretty, but it, it has another purpose, and that is to introduce air in under the pot which makes lifting off a lot easier. Hey, well look there, there's a, there's a couple of those guys there. This one looks bigger, but it isn't. It's just distortion of the, <laughs> the wide angle lens. Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. As always, keep practicing. And keep drinking tea. I will see you in the next video. Meanwhile, um, if you want to think about a workshop, we do have spaces left. Uh, I have one workshop at the end of this month, check my website, and another one in November. And there's space on both if anybody wants to come. I'm also offering what I call triple one workshops. That is one day, one on one. <laughs> You'll be the only person here all day. And um, for some people, that they they want that you know and also we can organize that at a time a flexible time that is mutually convenient so you we don't have to be tied down to a calendar we can you know i've had a bit of interest actually with that which is good so uh, it's maybe for more, more local people here in the northeast all right okay thanks folks all the best keep practicing and i'll see you soon bye bye Dee 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 dee.